everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Bishop D, also known as the Packer Preacher. Hey, just wanted to uh, just let you know what this page is about. So first and foremost, um, giving honor to God. As you know, I am a, a, a minister of the gospel, so I, 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 I like to put it in perspective and say that Jesus came that we may have life and may have life more abundantly, so why not protect it? Yes, I am a Second Amendment advocate. I believe that a responsible, uh, responsible uh, American citizen should be able to go ahead and get qualified, certified, and to carry a firearm for personal protection or for business or what have you. With that being said, um, this is primarily is for those who are in the market for a handgun. If you're in the market for a firearm for personal protection, I just wanted to give you some insights on what I found as I was getting into this whole process. So with that being said, I'm going to start by saying this on, if you look online, if you go to websites, things of that nature, you're going to find that a lot of information is floating around your office. You're, you're going to hear a lot of terminology you may not be familiar with. I'm going to try to cover those and make them make sense um, the best uh, to the best of my knowledge. And you can all, I, I'm not I'm not saying I'm, I I figured it all out. I'm just simply saying that I'm going to share with you what I learned over the past couple of months of trying to get into this whole um, trying to get into it all. Uh, so first and foremost, I want to let uh, so so like I said, everything is not a Glock, but you'll find. On a lot of a lot of sites, a lot of uh, YouTubers, a lot of um, content creators are going to do a lot of comparisons to a Glock. So today, on today, I want to introduce you to um, what I found was my best option. This is my opinion. My best option for my uh, uh, everyday carry, my concealed carry. So first and foremost, let's talk about uh, the terminology. So. Uh, a lot of times you'll hear a lot of uh, a lot of creators, a lot of content creators. They'll say um, my EDC. What that stands for is everyday carry. What are you carrying on a regular basis? If you have uh, went through the process, got qualified, certified, and you have your concealed carry license, if you're in one of those type of states um, that require it, then you'll find that what are what's in your pocket every day. EDC, everyday carry. Some people find it prudent to have your wallet or some people like the min the minimalist. So their wallet so there's like this little teeny tiny fold out with just an ID holder and then a pocket for um, all the cars that they have and like the back, the little back flip or clip for money and uh, for actually your, your, your foldable money. Um, then uh, some prefer to carry a, a, a pocket knife every day. I'm old country boy, so I, I oftentimes I work. I'll have a pocket knife, um, either, uh, yeah, yeah, I have a pocket knife or a Gerber or something on me, pretty much all the time. Um, have multi-use, multi-purpose, that's not the purpose of today. Uh, some people prefer to have a flashlight with them, a little light. Some people prefer to have their light attached to their firearm. But if you're looking for something, the last thing you want to do is have, like, you know, hey, you know, you're looking for something in your car and you walk around with your flashlight like this, that's just crazy. Um, but with that being said, um, so uh, when it comes down to your everyday carry, when it comes down to your concealed carry, I, I just, I'm just giving you another option. I'm just letting you know that there are other options out there other than the Glock. Um, so for me, when it came down to it, I went to my local range, which you should do. Go, uh, oh yeah, really quick. Every firearm you're going to see is safety check is empty and clear. There are no, there's absolutely no ammunition in my vicinity or immediate area. So any firearm that I actually put the clip, the magazine into the firearm, it is empty. I'm going to show you that as well. But with that being said, um, just looking at, uh, looking at the, uh, uh, your options online. Now, also, there's a great website. I, I, I'll put it in the description below. But there's a great, uh, great website for those who are really looking for, like the spec heads, those that look like, hey, I, you know, what's the dimensions? What's the size? What's the height? What's the width? What's the weight? What's the weight empty? What's the weight full? Spec heads, the guys that are, in, that, that are really in depth into specifications. For me, I was looking for something. I'm, I'm not a big dude. I'm 5'9, 150 pounds. I'm not a big dude. So, Aside from this hoodie, now that it's winter, it's, it's fall going into winter here in Maryland. Yeah, I'm. I got more clothes. I got. You know, I can. I can conceal things better during the summertime. T-shirt and jeans, 
and I want to make sure that I'm not printing. Printing, um, you're going to hear that terminology a lot when it comes down to your concealed carry. And, uh, it's also a part of the classes once they uh, once once you go through the certification process of getting uh, 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 qualified to get your concealed carry. They'll teach you about printing. Printing is what part of the firearm is going to it, it, is it, you're walking. The whole purpose of concealed carry is concealed. You don't have to go around. Yeah, I'm carrying. Yeah, I'm toting. Yeah. No, don't do that. That's dumb. Printing means that you want to make a less of a footprint as possible. Printing is being able to see the outline of the firearm. All right, so let me get straight into my everyday carry. My personal carry, I want it to go. And when you go, when you start Googling, when you start looking for this category, when you start looking at this, uh, 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 start researching, you're going to find that a lot of content creators nowadays, a lot of people, a lot of firearm owners have kind of gravitated. Um, a couple of years ago, Six Hour, uh, they changed the game. They went up before um, the 365, the Six Hour P365. There were not a lot of micro compact firearms that were outside of the uh, the caliber uh, or being chambered in 380. There was no, there's no really a, a nine millimeter that was still small enough, but, but had a high enough round capacity. In other words, the magazine was actually able to hold more than five or six, eight rounds um, at the most, um, eight. But nevertheless, six hour P365 came out, changed the game. They put 10 rounds, 11 rounds, 13 rounds, depending on what state you're in, it, 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 that's, that's all gonna designate how many, uh, 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 predicate how many uh, rounds you're allowed to carry or uh, what kind of mags you're allowed to buy within your state. Um, I live in Maryland, so I have a 10 round magazine state. So even though the firearm I'm going to discuss today, the Taurus G, uh, GX4, uh, comes with an 11, and you can get an extendable base plate that adds 13, though that, you know, plus two that will give you 13 plus one in the one in the chamber if you decide to carry that way. Nevertheless, uh, when they did that, it was like every other gun uh, manufacturer was like, wow, we gotta, we got we gotta step our game up. So you're gonna hear a lot of names, uh, Smith and Wesson, not Weston, Smith and Wesson, M and P Shield, the uh, 2.0, one of their, their, their compact. It has an 11, 13 uh, round capacity mags. Um, uh, uh, the Taurus uh, GX4, the Taurus G3C, the Taurus G2C. Uh, the, G, the GX4 is a bit smaller than the, uh, the G3C. And I'm going to why I picked the GX4 vice going to the G3 or G2C. So, also, um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm looking at some. All right, so nevertheless, so, uh, but you're going to find that a lot of people are, uh, so you have the 6 hour P365. Again, Google it, look it up, find some content on YouTube. It's all over there, right? Uh, you're going to have the, uh, this just a name of a few, um, the Ruger Max 9. Um, all great firearms, the uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat, um, you have the uh, Glock uh, 43, uh, yeah, Glock G43X um, is, a, is one of the ones in the micro compact um, arena. Uh, there's a lot out there, but nevertheless, this is where I went. So, I feel like everybody should do, I went to the range and I put I mean, I spent a lot of, you know, $19.99, $29.99, $22.99 on buying what I call range rounds. Range rounds, just a uh, full metal jacket, 9 millimeter, um, 115 grain by Federal, um, just just a couple different uh, manufacturers just to see um, how the firearm feels in my hand if I have any problem controlling the recoil. Somebody will say that a firearm is snappy. You're talking about a 9 millimeter in a very small frame that's a lot of force power coming out, uh, out of a firearm uh, uh, down range and you know of course there's going to be a, a level of uh, recoil that you will have to learn how to mitigate and learn how to control learn how to uh, get your gun back uh, get the firearm back uh, back on target now with that being said i went with the gx4 um, I wanted the concealability. I wanted the small frame of uh, like like with the 365. However, as most Americans, this is for personal protection, and I feel that personal protection should not have to break the bank to get to the firearm. So here it is, y'all. Again, empty, 
empty fire off. Again, safe check. Now, here is my toy GX4. One of the latest and greatest from the Taurus line. Of course, they have other models now, one with a, a longer uh, a longer slide. So, magazine goes into the handle, slide on top. These are not the stock frame, the, the, they're not the stock sights. I bought these because, again, this is my everyday carry. In the event, Lord forbid, I ever have to pull this firearm, I wanted something bright and quick that I could ascertain the target or acquire the target and put a round down range. My aim is not to kill, my aim is to get you off of me, get help, and get the authorities involved. Of course, get insurance, make sure that you are you know, covered in the event because there are legal ramifications with even a self, um, self-defense uh, discharge. So this is the Taurus GX4. You can buy them, uh, depending on your state, it has a 10. It does normally come with, it does come with a flush base plate. This is actually the pinky extension. I'll get in that in a second. So Taurus GX4, a polymer frame, uh, 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 single action. Single action means, for example, again, there's nothing in this magazine. All right, pull the trigger. Safe direction. Nothing happens a second time. Nothing will happen until the slide is released again. There's my take. Uh, there's my reset. Relatively shorter. And there is the trigger. So that is also one of the safeties in here. Yeah, no, it does not have a manual safety, but it does have. If you see here, you'll notice that that will not. Uh, this firearm will not fire. I uh, will not uh, discharge if unless both. Uh, both the uh, triggers are depressed properly. Um, kind of a flat, not really a flat face, but it fits really good in the hand. So what I did with mine, uh, if you want to, just let me know, drop me a comment, and I will go ahead and um, I put the link in the, uh, in the description of where I actually got this stuff from. I'm all about balling on the budget. So these sites, Glock, uh, if you look look up any website in, in terms of the GX4, Glock sites will fit. They, it did come with iron standard Glock sights, uh, blacked out rear, and um, they have blacked out rear and a single white dot in the front. Now, tritium, these are not tritium. These are not uh, um, your your expensive treasure gun sights that they glow in the dark. No, this is just something for bright target acquisition. Boom. I trained my eyes to look for these three orange dots and boom, I was rocking and rolling. What I did do, upgrades, upgrades wise, I did put the pierce grip Pierce grip, give me a little bit of rubberized, makes it a little bit wider in the hands, so a little bit, uh, a little firmer of a, a grip on it. And it also gives me a little notch right here to kind of, like I said, I don't have big hands, so my finger was able to slide right in here, no problem. As you can see, this is a micro compact, so my pinky does fit, slide off the end. Again, empty magazine, empty firearm. So what I did, I spent the extra few dollars, um, $4.95, I think, on TaurusUSA.com. Uh, and I went ahead and got the pinky extension. As you can see, boom, I don't have big hands, but it's just enough resting place for my hand to fit for a full grip on the firearm. There is a little bit of stippling right here. The stippling on the firearm itself is actually pretty good. It does not, I'm not going through the hassle of trying to take this off. The Pierce grip, if anybody is looking, because I did a lot of research, I bought two wrong grips. The Taurus, excuse me, the SIG 365XL is the best fitting grip for this one. Pierce does not make one for the GX4 yet, but look for the, if you want something like this, look for the P365 XL. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna give you a fit getting on there, but it fits on here like a champ. All right, again, this is the Taurus Pinky Extension. It comes, does come with two 10 round, state of Maryland, two, two 10 round of uh, uh, flush fit mags. Pink extensions, I bought two. Spend the $10, get the extra. Now, it does come, if you're in another state, you can get the pink extension, add, add like a whole inch. And it does add two additional rounds and also comes with an additional spring um, to compensate for that amount of space. Again, the reason why, one of the reasons why I went, went with this one, again, easy, easy construction, minimalist. Um, here is your slide stop or slide release. 
if you want to call it, this one does. It locks back on last round. And as you can see, you actually got to put some effort. It will not stop. You put a magazine in, it will lock back. So this one will lock back. Again, I like the bright orange follower. No, excuse me, the bright yellow, orange, the bright yellow follower. Uh, and then, so you do have a hole in the top for your round loaded indicator. All right. And what else about? Oh, yeah. You do have round loader, and, and then you have this on the side, which will protrude slightly whenever a round is in. So, you do have that internal safeties as well, like I said, as the trigger, uh, as well as the trigger. This right here, a little screw inside your package, they're going to uh, inside the package. There you go. If you can see that inside the package, whenever you purchase this firearm, is going to be a um, this little gun. It's, it's shaped like a GX4, but it has a little uh, flat uh, flat ledge at the bottom that is actually your takedown tool. With that being said, I am, you know, I love this run. I love this firearm. I've put over on like maybe a thousand rounds through it now, and I've only had one misfire. Um, I've put different types of rounds. I've put, which I'll discuss later on, um, in, in terms of bullets, uh, what types of bullet, what grain of bullets. I'll do that at some, some point later. Um, I've put full mill jackets, I've put hollow points through here, I've put steel jacketed, um, and it, it went off without a problem. I didn't have a problem. You may find other people that said, I've, I've had this, I've had this, I had the stovepipe. I haven't had that problem. Everybody's experience isn't going to be everybody's experience. Like I said, this firearm you can find at most of your FFLs for anywhere from about um, 280 to uh, 360. Now, the Taurus does have a Toro model, T-O-R-O, -O, it's an acronym, um, Taurus Optic Ready Option. That one does come with a, your slide's going to be cut for a optic or red dot sight. Me, this is my everyday carry. I wanted to be small and concealable as possible, so I did not intend to put anything in the event I ever have to use this firearm. is for a get off me, my life's in danger. And I don't intend to showcase this around. This is not something. If you ever, if you're looking at a compact or a micro compact, uh, you're gonna find that Taurus line. I've liked Taurus for a while. This is the GX4. This is actually my G3, uh, full size G3, our uh, compact G3. It's not a full size. Yes, there are certain little modifications I've done to it. However, the G3C and the G2C, they look so much like this one. I bypassed those and went to the GX, uh, the GX4. Again, this is my Taurus G3. I'll do a video on this uh, probably in the next couple of days just to get some content on the page. But this is my baby. Again, I'm all about making sure when I first was getting into fire on getting back into firearms, I was really looking at something that was cost efficient that wouldn't break the bank, and it is possible. But everybody's comparing everything to a, to, to to a Glock, to a Glock, to a Glock, to a Glock. I'm like, I, you've got to have more options. In terms, so that's the firearm. This is my Taurus GX4. Uh, in terms of holsters, in terms of holsters, you don't have because it is still kind of new. You don't have that many options. However, you do have some good options. This is one that I found on Amazon. It only costs twenty three bucks. Listen, you do not have to buy the eighty five dollar rig because of the name brand. Get you something that for, that works for you. I can put this at a pendants carry, side carry, three o'clock, or put on my rear. If you're looking, we're asking about this little odd thing here. This actually pushes the way that it's shaped. This pushes against the pants as well. So it it, it this pushes against the pants. So and I can also adjust this uh, either straight uh, further further uh, 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 vertical, or I can cant it more. It, is, it, it all matters how what's going to be most uh, uh, comfortable and do the less amount of printing for your body shape. So you do have the options to make some adjustments there. You do have some screws here that in the event uh, over time, in and out, um, you can uh, tighten up the tension to make sure that it retains inside the fire, uh, the firearm retains inside. Again, this option here was 24 bucks. You don't have to spend the 84, the 54, you don't have to do it. Go to Amazon. If you want a link for this, I'll find you. This is actually one of the best ones I've found. I did go to the Black Hawk when I first got it. I did go with the Black Hawk size five. Again, it fit well. However, um, it fit well 
very, very soft on the, uh, so even if I didn't wear a white beater or a t-shirt underneath our shirt, then it, 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 it felt fine. It felt fine. However, where this clip is located, it sat a little higher than I liked it to. And I didn't want to go with one of the more expensive. So I got on Amazon and I found this bad boy here. I uh, forgot the name of the company. I can put the pro, I can put the link in it in the, uh, in the, uh, comments at some point in the description, but let me know if you want me to get, do that for you. Again, this, this, this clip is this, 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 this holster is it. All right. Again, the Black Hawk size five, I believe size five. Yep. Black Hawk size five. If you're wondering about that, because a lot of sites aren't going to tell you which size to get. They're going to say, Hey, if it's these models, I'm telling you, if you got a GX4, you want something soft. Even if you want to just put this because you're carrying it in a backpack, you're carrying it in a, in a, in a, in a fanny pack, you're carrying it in a purse. This is soft enough that it's not going to scratch up and damage your, your, your firearm because hey, aesthetically, it is cool to have you know, your firearm still in good shape. Uh oh, the fusion shut off. All right. So with that being said, Taurus GX4, you have a 3.06 barrel. I'm not going to take it down and pull it out. Um, the overall length is 6.05 inches. The overall height is 4 inches, 4.40. The, the overall weight unloaded is 18.5 uh, 18 ounces. All right. This is chambered in nine millimeter. Um, again, it came with two 10 round magazines and, and you, can, you can buy and it comes with flush. So you can buy these from TorresUSA.com, pink extensions. It's a Pierce grip. There's some uh, aftermarket Glock sites that I did purchase for. Again, I'm not about breaking the bank. Overall, mid 300s or less for this firearm, get the optic, pay a little more, closer to 400, but you're still not paying. So you're getting all the, 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 the round capacity and the comfort uh, of, of yeah, you're getting the round capacity of the SIG 365, you're getting the concealability of the SIG 365, and you're paying half the price, and you're getting the trigger. Uh, you, this trigger is actually closer to that of the Hellcat, um, the Springfield Hellcat, which is their line of the micro carry. And I mean, but you have a lot of options out there. Do your homework, do your research and find the firearm that fits for you. Go to your range as if they have a rental policy, a hey, spend the money. This is an investment. All right. Get your insurances, spend the money, get it done. And now again, my thing, my EDC, my personal carry, I didn't want to light. I, they do make a Viridian make a little light laser combination for this because it does not have an accessory rail. So they have light fixtures that, I mean, they have light and laser combinations that like they clamp more onto here than the front part. This front part does not have any stippling. Uh, the front of the, the front of the trigger guard does not have any stippling. Stippling is the pattern, is the ridges, is the, 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 the grip that they put on the, uh, on the polymer handle. All right. Polymer frame, uh, still slide. All right. Polymer frame. Still slide. This is my Taurus GX4. I believe this is a great option for your EDC. If you if you want the round capacity, if you want a firearm that fires really well, you put rounds down range. You 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 feel confident with this nine millimeter. Again. I was thinking 380. I'm like, no, nah, I want 9mm because I just want a 9mm. So I went with the Torres GX4. Again, do your homework. Everything isn't blocked, but you're going to find that everybody compares everything to block, 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 whatever. You got more options. Glocks are out there. When in comparison, is a Glock 43X or the Glock 43. The Glock 43X has 10 rounds, but it's a single stack. This is actually called a double or staggered stack. It depends on who you're talking to. But again, 10 rounds. Fits in this little magazine. You get two of these. Fits like a champ. Didn't break the bank. Everything that you're seeing right now is less than 400 bucks. I'm not even, no cap, everything about this was less than 400 bucks. And I believe that this is one of the best purchases that I've made as far as firearms are concerned. So if you like this content, if you have any questions, Taurus GX4. This is this was the move for me. A Hellcat may be in your budget. Uh, now, Taurus is making other models of this. Like I said you have XL, which has a longer slide. 
uh, about the same mag capacity. I believe they're going to come out with one that has a longer, uh, a longer hand, a longer grip. Again, find what works best for you. Don't break the bank and make a wise decision. Again, Jesus said you may have that he come that you may have life, may have it more abundantly. So protect it. It is your life. This is your money. So this one worked for me. Taurus GX4. Great option. Again, for you spec heads, I am going to put at some point in the description, I'm going to put um, a link that has a lot. You can pretty much select two firearms, put them side by side, and they're going to give you everything about it. Do your research, do your homework, go find some different content creators and just and just just listen to what other people have to say. But at the end of the day, it is not going to overweigh. It shouldn't overweigh you actually getting to your range and putting some put put some lead down range through different firearms. If you have the time and the budget to do so, go do two in one day. Go back. Hey, listen. When I went and shot the 365, I was like, you know what? I got to see how it fires. I did. I liked it. The grip was too small, I and mean, the grip was like narrow. I'm like, okay, I can go on uh, Pierce and find a grip, uh, 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 a grip, a uh, grip sleeve. But I was like, oh, I, I just, I didn't feel like spending, you know, five hundred, five hundred thirty plus dollars. I didn't do it. I just, it just wasn't, just wasn't my thing. So then I was like, okay, let me try the MP Shield. So the MP Shield, the 2.0, and like the Shield Plus, and so yeah. Like Smith and Wesson has the MP series uh, compacts. So the first one, I didn't like the trigger. Then they came with the flat face trigger. I was like, you know, I can dig this. I, I, I like this one a, a lot better. But the slide had a taller profile than the GX4 did. So again, I was worried about printing. I'm not a big dude, but printing is more of this area here. Making sure you have a holster that fits properly on your body and making sure that the gun is not protruding so that you see this big old print. Like, yep. Yeah. How you doing? Yep, got me a pistol. <laughs> Not uh, make sure that it fits properly. Appendix, appendix carry this one. Um, me personally, me personally, I have trained myself to, if ever time comes, I'm John. You know, I'm racking around. I've, I've trained myself to rack around all in one motion because I don't want to fan anybody. And I don't want to, you know, but it's just me personally, because this one doesn't have it. I've trained myself on how to get this gun, uh, to draw my firearm, to acquire a target and to rack, a, rack around um, as seamless as possible and as quick as possible and efficiently as possible because because not having an external safety. All my other firearms have external safeties. Um, like I said, uh, Taurus G3, budget friendly. Firearm again empty. Okay. Guess what you got here? Boom. Manual safety. I just, I this just, uh, 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 I've, I've trained myself. I've, um, I've trained myself comfortable enough with the better with my battery of arms to, uh, to to have a to to learn how to move and operate with an external safety. Garrison, 1911. Guess what? Again, safe. Oh. Empty firearm, but guess what I have here? Manual safeties. This is my home defense. I'll do this another day. Great firearm. Pro mag, boom. Not about this. Pierce grips, aftermarket wood. Void panels, truth and justice. Of course, you know, boondock saints. That's my thing. So, um, conversator, yeah. Video for another day. All right, so, next video you're going to see, not today, but next video, um, we're going to cover this one Taurus G3. But, start of today's episode is. Taurus, GX4, micro compact, sub compact, whatever you want to call it, micro compact, pocket rocket. Um, oh, the black hawk, depending on your pants, does also work well as a pocket holster as well. I know sticky, uh, sticky, uh, I think it's sticky grip or sticky, yeah, Google it. But yeah, they make a really good 
in pocket. I'm not big enough to have a whole pocket holster, but this one does work well as a pocket holster as well because this kind of catches inside your pocket. You can pull the fire and free without a problem. Um, I'm not big on pocket holsters, but sticky holsters does make sticky holsters do make a good pocket holster for that. And again, I went with this one. Keeps it from printing. And that's all I got for today. So if you like this video, if you have any comments, I will definitely put as much information as I have about this about whatever firearms that I own, or why I made them. Make your own decisions. I love it. And listen, y'all have a great day. Subscribe, like it. Uh, some more tents, more content's gonna be coming. I'm actually gonna uh, uh, be working on getting some uh, some range time with these firearms. Let you know, I actually do shoot. I, now I do have a video on here. I was just messing around with my uh, with Pop Pop's um, uh, AR-15. Not really a big good rifle guy. Now, I, hey, look, I know how they function. Now, I can discuss them, but when it comes to actually putting rounds down range, I'm a pistol guy. I like it. Something I've learned about myself in the past, you know, year or two. So. I like pistols. That's what it is. Find what works for you. Defend yourself. Protect your family. Do it legally. And yeah, that's it. Bye, y'all.